The challenger for the Algerian presidency takes his campaign to the streets of Paris. Ali Benflis is a former prime minister, a member of the old guard, and he's nearly 70 years old. But his team is trying to sell him to voters as a man who can bring about change. He's a man who respects the law, a man of his words. And when he says he's going to do something, he does it. He isn't promising the moon, but he will implement his manifesto. More than 800,000 Algerians living in France have the right to vote and they've already started casting their ballots ahead of election day in Algeria. This is a constituency that all the candidates want to win, including the president himself. Abdelaziz Bouteflika is standing for a fourth term. He is 77 years old and suffered a stroke last year. The most notable thing about his campaign is that he has been virtually absent from it, but his team insists he is fit to govern. The health of the president has improved greatly and continues to do so. At the end, it's the Algerian people who will decide. As I have often said, the president governs with his head and not with his feet. The overriding priority for most Algerians is stability. They've seen what's happened in Libya and in Egypt, and they experienced their own decade of violence in the 1990s. So for many people, a vote for Bouteflika is a vote for stability. But a growing number of Algerians reject the whole process. They believe the elections are designed to preserve a system which they see as fundamentally corrupt. On n'a jamais respecté la voix de they will never respect the will of the citizens. There has always been systematic fraud. So after the experience of all these elections, I think it is absurd to go and vote. Despite his illness and his absence from public life, President Bouteflika is widely expected to be re-elected. But Algeria is a young country, and the voices demanding change are unlikely to go away. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Paris.